Six weeks ago, the House of Commons in Canada passed the Bill of Rights. This was presumably to help to safeguard our rights against an encroaching state and against the encroaching complexities of our society. But rather than prejudge the issue, we have the man who can tell us about that, and I'm going to address my first question directly to him. Mr. Fulton, what was the thinking behind the Bill of Rights? Why was it passed at this last session of Parliament? Well, there are a number of reasons I could give, but I'll, I'll try and give you just two or three of the main ones. <clears throat> the first is one that you have yourself mentioned, and that is the increasing complexity of government and the fact that government now enters into the private life and affairs affecting the private welfare of individuals in ways in which it never used to do, say, 50 years or more ago. So it seemed to us important uh, then to uh, have legislation on our statute books outlining the rights and freedoms of an individual against which a government could not encroach. Uh, Are these <coughs> new, or is this merely a formalization of what has already existed? No, we haven't pretended that we're creating a vast number of new rights. We're, we're reducing to legislative and concrete form, thus giving them that much more protection, rights which we have always taken for granted in Canada. Uh, it seemed to us that in the kind of world in which we're now living, um, where <coughs> there is an ideological battle uh, in process, that it was important that Canada should define what we mean as Canadians by rights and freedoms. Um, at a time when the word freedom itself is being, I think, distorted uh, by communist uh, ideologists and propagandists who claim that they are free, it seemed to us that a nation like Canada might well set an example, if not for the world, at least for ourselves, uh, by <coughs> defining what we mean by freedom. Uh, the effect, particularly, of this latter provision is that no right can be overridden by Parliament, by stealth, or by inadvertence. It has to be expressly provided in the statute that the right or liberty sought to be taken away shall be taken away, notwithstanding the Bill of Rights. And government now enters into the private life and affairs affecting the private welfare of individuals in ways in which it never used to do, say, 50 years or more ago.